Hey people, so today I'm going to be doing a review on Collar Factory. This is a website that I ordered my girl's collar that's coming from and it should be here any day now. So I wanted to go through and because I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing a, an unboxing and then a review and reaction of tell you what the reaction of my girl was to it. So um, let's not let the computer do its thing, but let's do our thing here. So first thing is this, if, and first off, this is not a paid advertisement. They are not paying me to do this at all. I am not getting any free product from them. Nothing. This is just me putting, you know, doing this. I did this for um, how to join FetLife, um, and, and I might do it for others down the road, but this is what it is. So let's get into it. This is the main page. You'll see what it you'll see what it is. Blah blah blah. It, nothing spectacular. Nice little graphic. Let's go. Um, if my computer gets a little runs a little slow, it's because I have a crappy computer and I'm using a um, a, uh, a program to record the uh, screen do a screen screenshot. So it might go a little slow. You get in here again. Nice little simple basic factory er, er, uh, website. Nothing spectacular. You got all of these different, you know, here the community, the blog, the idea. But this is the star of the show. Make your own collar. This, you know, make your own. Because you got a couple, you have three different basic options here. You have, you know, you have to, the ability to make a collar. You have the ability to make cuffs, and you have the ability to make a belt. Um, right off the bat, what you're going to get is a little bit of information. Here's a step by step on how to do it. Um, there's a video right here when it comes up, which is actually about how to measure for your collar. And I actually recommend watching this video and before you actually your collar. It is vital because uh, an inch too big or an inch too small and it's just not going to be right. These are semi-custom collars. So you have to make sure that you do everything you can to make sure that the semi customness actually fits what you need. That includes making sure the measurement on your neck is right. So I did this with my girl to make sure it was right. My original guess was uh, was an inch too large. Um, so I'm glad I did that before I ordered. So let's move on to the next step as we wait for the web page to load. This is not their site. Their site works beautifully. This is my computer. It sucks. So down here, and again, lots of instructions, a lot of detail, really nice. Um, you've got your basic, you know, a double strap or single strap. I like the double strap myself. Uh, nickel or black. I prefer, you know, I prefer black or for nickel. And then you got a couple different different types of um, of options. Uh, the snaps they currently don't have available. Um, you have your regular buckle. You have a locking buckle, and then they have snaps. Um, you'll see that on sometimes those are available, sometimes they're not. I honestly don't see the purpose of snaps. Um, I would rather have it, rather it be buckled or locked, um, but that's just my personal preference. Down at the bottom, you'll see here that they actually keep a you know keep a uh, a running visual of what your collar currently looks like. Okay, then you have width. You got all the way up from an inch and a quarter to um, to two inches and a quarter. Again, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you want to do something that's more of a posture collar, you want to do something thicker, you want to do something that's more of a play collar, something thinner, somewhere in the middle. It depends on the, the length of the neck, depends on a whole bunch of other little different factors. Length is what you did back in that other video. When you watch that other, the other video in the beginning of, in, on the website, you actually measure your neck. Okay, if you don't have a, um, a measuring tape, uh, something simple like taking a piece of string um, and running it around and cutting it right there and then laying it on a ruler will work perfectly fine. You, you need to know. So the one I got was 19. So 
that is going to determine a lot of these little factors. You got to keep in mind that when it comes to it coming down here, the actual um, cutoff point for the back leather is going to be around here. So all of this in here is going to be where your main main show is. It's going to be cut off about here, and then you're going to have the rest of it to go there. Okay, so first thing is you get, if you do a double like I did, you get two choices of materials. So for, you know, black rubber, black leather, a couple different leather options, you know, all really nice. To me, I'm leather all the way. I will. I don't see the purpose in rubber, but if you're somebody who is, you know, you know, more into rubber or more, you know, you're not into leather, you know, more of a vegan type of a person that doesn't want to do a leather version of a collar, you can do the black rubber. That's the only option they really have. Now, whether they're going to change that in the future or not, I don't know. Then again, um, so I did the pink as the outer layer. I did, and basically the same exact same materials for your inner layer, and I did black leather for the inner. Then you have lacing, and so for me, or for line, sorry, not lacing, but lining, um, you've got you know unlined, which doesn't cost you a cent. Uh, you can do another piece of leather on the inside, uh, lambskin, which is soft, um, softer uh, than regular leather. Um, you know, a couple different, a couple different styles of lambskin. Um, you've got the black, you know, black, you know, black fur, white fur. This is all fake fur. It's not real fur. Um, you know, all the way down here to it, also getting some suede. I personally think that a nice, a nice fluffy inside makes it that they can wear it longer. Then you have your stitching. That's what I meant by lacing. Um, you have your stitching. Um, I personally went with just a nice simple black, nothing spectacular. You know, if you go the default, it doesn't, it's not going to cost you a ton of extra money. If you go with the different colors, it might cost you a little bit, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm waiting for the website to load. Okay, we're down to step four. Which is going to be these are you're going to be your little accoutrement, you know your little your little things. Um, do you want you know none, you know, or do you want some you know some studs, some spikes, some dots, some this and that, you know, some little skulls, uh, gems. You can do uh, something that is uh, specific to you. You can do something that's specific to a birth date. You got a couple different options there. These are, to me, some of the most important parts of a collar, the attachments. You can do an attachment that doesn't have anything on it, but if you're usually going to use it for play, you want to have something to attach to. You don't want to attach to the collar itself. You want some kind of metal attachment. If you're doing more of a pet play, maybe a bell. Um, personally, I did. I like the single ring, um, the double... Um, the, w, the, the D ring with the O ring is always nice. The triangle ring is always nice. Uh, and then you have versions of all of these three down here as well if you want to go for like just a pure black collar. Um, I think those work really nice. And waiting for the next page to load. Okay. On your fifth step, it'll actually give you a written description of everything that you've done. Okay, it'll give you a written description of how you know of the you know of the types of material you're using, the size of it, the leather and the lining, the decorations. Very basic. And then down here, this actually is a visual representation of what it is you're going to be buying so you know again the center o-ring lock um a lock down here pink with the black in the back and then it actually gives you a breakdown of every little thing here of and what your cost is plus shipping uh shipping you can do with something long something short um let me actually go to the checkout 
I'm not going to buy it here because I've already bought it. But um, there is actually, if you look online, there is a promo code. I don't have it. And I don't. If you use it, it's not going to benefit me. That might change in the future. And if it does, it'll be indicated down below. But for right now, it's not. Um, you can add a lock. Um, personally, I already own that lock. Um, I don't have the little heart key, but I think that this is a nice little lock. Um, if you want something a little more basic, you want something a little more, you know, you know, these are all different. I like, you know, I don't like uh, locks that use um, regular keys. I like handcuff keys. So the, all the locks they here offer here are absolutely worth it. Um, you got your mailing info. You've got your couple different options. You can just do a nice little simple ten buck, um, ten buck uh, first class a priority, which is what I did. Um, Express um, turn. You know, it, it takes about two weeks, um, approximately two weeks. It's I, they, they're a little long right now on that for me because of. Uh, being the Christmas season, so uh, that's one reason why if I don't hear from them soon, I'm going to wind up contacting them. Um, but by probably the time most people watch this video, I'll already have had it. Um, yeah, it, you're going to get, it's all going to be discrete shipping. Uh, you're going to see it's not going to be shipped as Collar Factory. It's going to be ABG Inc. So, you know, if you don't want your friends or family to know exactly what it is, just a package you get in the mail, you know, some generic package that looks like it comes from Amazon, that's what it is. You know, all this stuff, credit card information, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's go to, the, to, um, to this section so you can actually see more of what they actually made. So, So yes, they do offer some lettering, but I don't see an option on how to do that. Um, there might be, I, I have to dig into that. But here are some basic ones. Uh, some nice simple, you know, you can see that as a nice, nice thick one, or a nice simple one. Um, you got, you know, all these different varying colors, some spikes, you can do all these different stuff. And here's what a complete set looks like. Um, and what I would recommend is if you are buying a, a new set for you, don't go online. Go to, you know, if you're going to go and get a collar, get the cuffs as well. So this is, you know, this is what a complete set. The, you know, um, two ankles, two wrists, and then the collar. It, like I said, at this point, I am hoping that they are, you know, that this product comes in good. It looks like it is. Um so let's, you know, just a quick overview of the other two things. Uh, let's build some cuffs. Again, waiting for the website. Again, same basic thing. So let's say we're going to do double. We're going to do lock or do nickel. We're going to um, have lockable. We move to the next one. And again, you know what are you know what are, what are the inches, the length? You can do a single, you can do a pair. I don't know why you, why you would buy a single, but let, let's just go with you know a nine inch and take it from there. And if you want, it would be a good idea is what with, that you got your your collar get your get the cups as well. Okay, so. Um, Let's do the same basic thing. Pink leather. Okay, we're gonna do black leather underneath, and we're gonna do the black the black fur. It's worth spending the time, it's worth spending the money to do the fur lining on the cuffs. Um, it, that it just makes it so much easier. Nice and simple black. Moving forward. Again, you got stuff and decorations, you got all these things. This is actually going to do. Uh, I'm going to do um, 
I'm going to do um, this one because I think for um, for cuffs having that little bit extra makes it a little bit a little bit easier having the the um, D ring in the center loop. Um, they don't offer a triple here, which I'm surprised, but this is what your basic cuff would look like. It's almost identical to the uh, to the version that you had for the um, for your collar, and it's worth it. It's worth spending the time and energy. I mean, this is you know two of them is going to cost you seventy one. So you're talking um, between your cu between cups, collars, and everything, you could spend uh, two hundred and fifty dollars to get a really decent set and honestly it's worth spending the money um because these are something that you want to have for a long period of time yes you can go to places that that may you know that sell them uh the ones that my girl has we bought at a shop in la that's known for high quality and the and it's good i'm not saying it's not but we did spend roughly about the same amount and it wasn't semi-custom it was just whatever happened to be on the shelf Anything you buy here can be made specifically for you and the person you're playing with, or just you. So, but that's it. Um, again, this is this is the Collar Factory website. I am not getting paid to do this. Um, if you are interested in it, go check them out. For now, be well and safe.